To get started, navigate to the Analyze tab. Under the Build Your Own Dashboard section, select Dashboard Layout. Before diving into Insights, give your dashboard a title by selecting the pencil icon. From here, you want to add insights to your dashboard. Dashboards are a collection of insights which display data powered through your saved searches. Select Add Insights. There are almost 50 insights available and we are always adding to our insight options. You can select up to 20 insights per dashboard. Utilize the find bar to search for specific metrics. Let's search for the most used PR insights available to you. For example, top keywords will show the top phrases or keywords that appear most often in mentions. AVE or Advertising Value Equivalency will help place a monetary value on media coverage. And Top Locations provides insight into how coverage is broken down by country. As shown here, you can select multiple insights, or if you prefer, you can choose one at a time. Next, select Add to add these three insights to your dashboard. Now, you need to build out each insight by selecting Configure. In the side panel, you can edit the insight's title, select the date range from a pre-selected or custom range, and select the chart type that will best represent the data. Next, you must select the saved explore search or searches the insight will be pulling data from. Once selected, click Apply. You have configured your first insight. You will need to repeat the same process for each insight. Now, let's take a look at a more completed brand overview dashboard where I will highlight the most frequently used insights by our PR pros. Here at the top, we can check out our key results. Mentions shows total mentions and the percentage change when compared to the previous time period. Total potential reach shows how many potential viewers your total exposure gained in the organization. The dashboard can be further customized to meet your needs. If you want to highlight specific metrics together or at the top of your dashboard, you can use the drag and drop feature to move the insights as needed. And use the corner arrows to resize. Lastly, let's touch on the toolbar in the top right corner. You can update the date range of your dashboard as a whole by clicking into the dropdown and selecting a predefined or custom date range. Let's update to the last 30 days. Next, you can add additional insights and the download tab. This will only download the dashboard in the form of a PDF. In order to share dashboards with stakeholders, we recommend creating a dashboard report which includes multiple download options. 